In the next eight minutes, I'm going to show you how to build a landing page and explain why they're important. So at the end, you have enough knowledge and building blocks to design converting landing pages. What is a landing page and why do you need it to make money online? Say, you learn how to solve a problem people struggle with. For example, how to create and run TikTok ads. You start creating content about that and people like it, but how can you filter people from the audience who are potential clients? Well, one way to do that is to create a free resource interested people can download from your website. The free resource can be, for example, a short guide called Five Rules for Making Successful TikTok Ads. In your next video short, you can promote this free resource and let people know they can download it from the link in the description. They come to your site and instead of arriving on your homepage, they land on, that's right, on your specific landing page. Here you can ask them for their email and some more information and then send them the guidebook by email or redirect their browser to the right URL. In this case, the purpose of a landing page is to collect an email address, which you can use to send more relevant and helpful information to people who opted in. And some offers if they're interested in your paid services. And if you do it well, you can get clients coming to you and make money online. Landing pages are the keys to turn your sales around. Instead of you going after leads and prospects with cold email, DMs, or calls, you can bring in clients with content, landing pages, and useful free stuff, like skyrocket your growth on social with these five best AI content marketing tools for free. And while the purpose can be to get an email address for a free resource, it can also be money for a product or a service. This is why it's important to understand how to design the layout and content to maximize the conversion rate, which means how many visitors take the action you intended. Conversion rate can be calculated by taking the number of visitors to your page and the number of downloads, which can be measured, for example, in Google Analytics. Now that we know what landing pages are, we can move on to talk about their design. The best way to design a landing page is to make it feel seamless. Say someone is watching your video and takes up on your offer and clicks on the link. Make sure the content and design match your video to make the visitor feel they are getting what they came for. Any deviation from this will lower your conversion rate. That's where branding comes in to have consistent look across platforms. Now, this landing page has one purpose, to download the guide you're promoting. Don't overwhelm the visitor with too many things to look at. You must have seen some horrible landing pages where you don't know which download button has less viruses and an explosion of adult content pop-ups. Have only three things that help them absorb the information easily. A heading, an image, and the download link or a form. Below you can add a longer description or testimonials and so on, but for this purpose, less is more. This type of a simple landing page can also be called an opt-in page or a squeeze page because of its bare bones design. Let's break down these three key elements. The heading should match what they expect. Be clear and state the benefit, like save time, earn more, do faster, and so on. In this case, learn how to advertise on TikTok to start selling on social. Formulate your heading like this and ask your favorite AI for some alternatives and pick the one you like the most. The illustration should be relevant and clear. In this case, the cover of the guidebook with a style that resembles TikTok. You can do this in Photopea, Canva, and perhaps utilize an AI image generator to add elements on the cover. But don't do the mistake common in a lot of AI content at the moment, fix the janky texts. The call to action can be a button that opens a form. Write download or get it now, get the secrets, whatever sounds good. When people click on that, have a form ready where they can fill in their information. At the core, you want a name and an email address. You can also ask additional information that would be valuable for you to know, like what do you want to sell on TikTok? If most people who download your guide say they want to sell dolls, you can create content for this audience to cater them better in the future and tailor solutions they would find valuable. If you're going to send them more emails, let them know that they're going to receive some, like join our newsletter to download the guide on top of the form. Once they click, fill the information and click on the button, you can send them the guide by email as a PDF or as a series of emails, or you can build your guide on your website to make it scale better on a mobile screen than a fixed document. Now you know what landing pages are, why you need them and how to build them. 
By the way, even on a longer landing page, the same rules apply. Keep the top clean and simple. If you create a landing page after this, send me the link and I'll roast it. But you might think, if the idea of a landing page is to increase the conversion rate and thus increase how much clients and money the website is generating, shouldn't every page be a landing page? Absolutely, every page should be a landing page. Say you have four services on your website, each with their own page. Edit the service pages to make a simple entry-level offer, throw in a bonus and make people click. Even if your real bread and butter services are expensive, offer something simple to start a relationship with low risk from both sides. It can be an audit or a customized toolkit. See what your competition is offering for ideas. Okay, but what if the person visiting your site wants to buy the premium thing right away? This rarely happens, but if it does, you can add your more comprehensive offer below the fold for the people who are looking for it. Now, I saved the best part as last because the impatient viewers are already gone watching another video. I'm happy to see you're not one of them. Hit the like if you find this video useful. How to increase the conversion rate. This skill is extremely valuable if you run your own business or offer this as a service because it can have a significant effect on the revenue. There is one way to do this that has been used since the dawn of advertising. You create your first version that we call split A and then your second version that we call split B. Now people who come to your website are shown 50-50 both versions. Following your statistics, now you see which version is performing better and either put 100% traffic on that or replace version A by version C and run another test. If you want to learn how to do this on your website, check the last link in my description to access the hidden zero pages to increase your earning potential.